Hello YouTube, we got another deck profile, and this time it is with the new Quillis deck. Probably butchered the name, but I'm just gonna call it Quillis. Because that's what I feel it's pronounced like. It's a really weird name, like Quillis? Quillis? Who knows? Who knows? Weird name. Yep. This is a pendulum summon deck, it's an ar it's an archetype pendulum summoning deck, and it, it kinda t shows how much of your deck you have to give up in order to have that really effective pendulum summon. And really, I don't think we're ever going to see pendulum summons be a techable thing unless they come out with an archetype, a really, really good archetype. And I mean, they just really should all, they have the Satellanites, they have uh, Star Sephiroth, so it's going to be a while before we probably see pendulums being very meta. But yet this deck, this deck is actually, I'd say, very good, mainly because against like a Shadal matchup, if they do have Midrash on the field, this deck can still operate, because it'd be like, oh, only one special summon? Pendulum summon five monsters, that's the one uh, special summon that they need, and then they can go for those normal summons and do some real damage. So, pretty much how the deck works is that you want to Pendulum summon Genome and Archive, and then you tribute them off because they get the effect. When they're tributed, for either shell, disc, or your monarch. And so let's go in and do go through all the effects. Quillet's tool is a normal monster that has to be tributed in order to be summoned. But yet he has a pendulum effect where he can you can pay 100 life points and search out a Quillet's card. Notice a Quillet's card, which means that there might be some spells and traps that come out for the stack later. Which would be interesting, but right now it's only monsters. So he's pretty much the main searcher of the deck. You want to get him very quickly. Quillis Shell. He, if he's tributed, you you have to tribute two monsters in order to summon him. Yet if you tribute uh, a art, if you tribute a Quillis monster, then he can attack twice, which is really nice because most of the time he's uh, 31 beater. His attack is 28, but yet. The, most of the time he's 31 because some of the pendulums have effects that the pendulum monsters gain uh, 300 attack. So he can do lots of damage. The deck is pretty much just about OTK. So he's very good. Like people see him and he attacks once, like okay, and then he attacks again and they're like, wait, what? You just did 3100 damage to me? And so it's, he's very good. His pendulum effect is just that your monsters. Your opponent's monsters lose 300 attack, and you really don't want them in the pendulum zone. Disc. Disc is alright in the pendulum zone, but it, uh, it's better to have a chariot or odd eyes, as you can see over there. Yet, his monster effect is if he's tributed using a Quillis monster, you can special summon two, it has to be two, Quillis monsters from your deck. So, he actually can put more damage on board than Quillis Shell, yet, he can get out those extra. Genomes and archives that you can then they'll be destroyed during the end phase, but they'll just come back to it. Then we have Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. He can only search out Tool, which I'm pretty certain is why Tool has such low attack, yet he's really great because he can be that other scale number and we can pendulum summon all of the monsters. Now, also note all of the Quillis monsters can be normal summoned without tributing, but yet their attacks are, re are reduced, and so it there, just so that way you don't have to ever, at the beginning of the game, be like, I don't have a field. And then with the Monarchs, you have Mobius and Chaos, just to get rid of monsters in back row, because back row is very dangerous against this deck, something you don't want to run into. We have Archive here, who, he's alright to have in the Pendulum, because all of your pen, uh, Quillis monsters gain 300 attack, but yet, at the same time, when he is tributed, you can return one monster on the field to the hand, so he's really, really great to just be like, oh, you have an extra monster to jump into the hand. And so, he's really nice to just get rid of cards and open up more OTKs. Genome does the same thing when he tribute, except it destroys a solid well trap. So, Genome, the other card that you want to have out when you tribute. We have the Devil Summon, because, actually, it is useful because you can search out the monster, because you can do all... Of that and, like you can get out two like you can get out disc and then uh use him to summon two more than double summon and pull out a monarch or maybe even shell and get give more of your opponent's 
triple up strategy because this deck really needs to get tool as soon as possible. If you're stuck with mana or so cards that you just can't summon, then you're going to have a bad time. Duality just for more consistency because again all of the coil of monsters can be normal summoned without tributing. So even if you can't make that central summon that turn, you can still get a monster on board. Two MSTs, one Book of Moon. Book of Moon is good because if you do normal summon without tributing, their attack is reduced. And so if you Book of Moon them, they reset it, so that's pretty nice. Now you could also do the same with Skill Drain, but yet I'll get onto that when we get down to the trap. Monarch Storm Force, really great, mainly to get out on Monarchs or to even get rid of more cards, like maybe we have a Genome but not an Archive and we want to summon Disk. So we can get rid of Genome and we can get one of, rid of one of our opponent's monsters at the same time. So this card is very powerful and you can just get rid of cards. Supply Unit, it's pretty much our draw power of the deck. And it normally goes off at least once because when I pull out Disk, the monsters are destroyed at the end phase. That uh, just summons so Supply Unit would then kick in, allowing us to draw some more cards. And it stacks, which is just amazing. Both because it gives rid of cards and can be live and can just be activated whenever. If you're running triple or clear over you, you have to run that one compulse because it's live you know, most of the time. And so we have the triple world decree. The reason we're running world decree is because counter traps are what gets uh, the pendulum monsters into the uh, grave. And when they hit the grave, there's no way. As you can tell, there's no soul charge, no call, no nothing to pull back the pendulum monsters from the grave. So Solemn and cards like Celestial Factor is a really, really mean thing to run into with the Pendulum Monsters. And so we have the Triple World Decree. I was originally running like Compulse, Torrential, Bottomless, I was running all of those cards. Then took them out. Now, the deck, fortunately, if you have a Pendulum, uh, Quillist Monster in the Pendulum Zone, you cannot summon any other uh, monsters except, you can't special summon any other monsters except Quillist Monsters. So the extra deck is pretty much void, but yet I have gone into it a couple of times when I'm just wait, pretty much just waiting on tool to get to my hand. And so it's good to have, but yet you're never going to go into it, ever. And so we just have some level 7s that we can go into, like these, you can make rank 8s with these, some 7s. Probably she should have some rank 6s in here, but unfortunately we do not. And they all become level 4 when uh, they are normal summoned without attributing, so rank 4s are an option. The other cool thing about Quillless Monsters is that they're unaffected by effective monsters who have a lower level or rank than them. So if you were to go up against a rank 6 with Arch IP, you would be unaffected. So it's not, so they pretty much, none of these guys can be 101, which is just amazing, except Tool, because he doesn't have a monster effect. And so the deck, the deck OTK is a lot, it can be really great. You can search out a lot of the cards and you can get rid of cards that you can have that really good opening plays. Pretty much all you need to have good play would be both tool and then notch edge and a genome. Then you could no, you need to have both tool, like two arch eyes or not eyes, that would also work. And then a genome, and then you'd search out either shell or disc, and then you'd paste the Quillis Archive or the Odd Eyes in the Pendulum Zone, you would Pendulum Summon, and then you'd normal summon the disc or the shell. So it could have, so it can be very good. It, I, I've won a lot of the duels, it's just that when they hit the grave, like if your Pendulum Zone's at the grave, you're like, okay, I've just lost, like I can't do anything. Or if they get banished, because they can be bottomless and they can be deprisoned. De which is pretty much the two normal traps that can be used to get rid of uh, potential monsters because they banish them. So when you start losing your potential monsters and you can't bring them back, yeah, you just start to lose because you can't do anything, you can't special summon from the extra deck because you can't get rid of tool. And so it's really, like there's some things that I disagree with potential monsters, like you can't, like with a field spell, you can activate a new field spell from your hand. Yet you can't activate a new pendulum zone if both of them are filled, or a new pendulum monster. And I feel that's a little silly, like they would, that you should be able to do that. Now if you dislike the whole, uh, pen, you can't, can only special summon both monsters, you can get rid of 
uh, you can get rid of some cards and then put in the Magician of uh, Arch Chronomancy and Astromancy, and then those guys would also do allow you to pen summon all the monsters that you want to. Except for him, you wouldn't be able to pencil summon him, but yet you don't really want to. You want to pencil summon these two. Can't pencil summon even the monarch because you can't stop summon anything that's not clear. So the deck's really great. I'll probably have a duel up tomorrow. It could be a contender. Like I mean, if if should also really be saying this could be the deck that's like oh midrash. Okay, I'm just gonna summon three, five monsters. That point one special summon, no. And then just get rid of Midrash, like it's nothing. And so, so the deck's really nice. I wouldn't suggest running any tunic because you can't summon any synchros. The only thing that really, really makes me unhappy is that if you notice, Archive's attack is 24 to 1000, Wheel of Stick is 28 to 1000, so is Shell. And genome is 24,000. You look at the monarch, it's 24,000, which means you can run. Let me find it. Return of the monarch, which would pretty much allow you to search out any of the closed monsters. But here's the first thing you cannot search summon monsters from this to that, which means you just lose all your pendulum monsters once they leave the field. Like, you'd only be able to pendulum summon from the hand. So, Return of the Monarch has potential in this deck, but I wouldn't run it because you just lose your cards. Like, you'd have to make it focus more around normal summoning them, and you'd have to run like Soul Exchange and do all the stuff that Monarchs does. And it would be really nice because you could go normal, hit uh, Archive without tributing, and then double summon, and then lay down a Monarch, and then get out of search for another Archive and do the same thing again next turn. Be it you want to be able to pendulum summon and so I'm trying to focus on the pendulum summon I'm trying to give it a chance if you would rather use these guys as monarch support go ahead these guys also work for heretics because heretics are all about trading so you can also run archives with uh, archiving genome with heretics and be like oh normal and then double summon and then do whatever or just pendulum summon them and then normal summon your tap new or whatever they can get rid of them. So the deck, it has some potential to be teched into other decks, you might see it, maybe. But, you guys just really have to see it in action. Like, people, they see the Pendulum Monsters, they're like, oh, this this isn't going to be too hard, this guy's just trying out Pendulum Monsters. And then I do a whole bunch of damage to them real quick, and they're like, oh, I can't use Soul Drush, I can't do anything against five, uh, a 31 beater and 21 beaters that are just sitting on this uh, board. And even if I do get rid of them, they're just going to come back. And so, it can be really annoying for a lot of decks. Solemn is pretty much just the way they get rid of them. Like, Pendulum Summon, Solemn, they just lose all. Like, this deck just loses. If it gets, if you Solemn at the right time, this deck will lose. Be it, if you don't, then it will, it has some potential, it has some really, really great abilities. I, maybe, maybe the ruling will be changed with Potential monsters don't get sent to the grave from Solomon. Maybe. And if that does happen, then I'll take ri get rid of the Royal Decree. But until now, until then, I have the Royal Decree, I have the two MSDs, and it's it's working out, working out nicely. You could also run Mind Control, but oh, I know you can't even tribute the monster if you use Mind Control. Oh well. It's, there's some there's some potential. You can mix and match with the monarchs. See what you guys think. I feel the deck it's new and it awesome power. There's also some other new decks that are coming out, mainly for the OCG right now, like we won't see them for forever in the TCG. But uh there's some other decks coming out that I was originally gonna do a deck profile on but decided against it that also seems to have some OTA potential. Which is interesting to see Konami making these decks that have OTK potential yet don't have like you wouldn't I wouldn't expect this deck to become bad. I wouldn't. Like, the only reason I'd expect this to be a meta is because it's, if only Shadals became meta. Like, well, yeah, Shadals are going to become meta, but yet it's like, there's nothing comes out that can stop, like, Shadals, and this might be a deck, because Monarchs can still be a very good 
deck to wreck much at all because they're like, oh, one special summon, okay, or just normal with tribute summon your midrash. And so this deck could be useful, and we might see some play, be it I wouldn't really expect it to become meta at all. Like, we really we won't be able to tell see what happens. Like this this deck won't come out until maybe like two more ban lists after the July one. So it's gonna be a long time before we see this deck even hit. Just um, would really like to see some new support for this deck. I think that would be interesting. But pretty much it's just about getting using Quill's tool to get these guys and then just tributing them off for a disc and shell and just doing a huge amount of damage while getting rid of monsters and destroying back row at the same time. And so I hope you guys like this deck profile. Tell me what you guys think of the deck. If there's anything I should have done to it, maybe you guys have filled it yourself. Tell me what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Bye.